Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to give you three reasons to name the cells or the ranges in our worksheets. Reason number one, it makes them easier to explain. Let me demonstrate. Let's use the keyboard shortcut Control tilde to reveal the formulas in our worksheet. Well, equals B4 times B5 is great, but if I'm new to this worksheet, Maybe I don't understand it as easily as someone who is intimately involved in creating it. What if I had something that was easy to explain, such as a name? Well, let's create some names. Let's start by highlighting or selecting the range that we want to name. We want to name the cells that we've highlighted using names that are in the left and above. And we go to Insert Name Create. The reason we chose create in this case rather than define is because we already selected in addition to the cells we want to name the labels that we want to use. So we're going to create names using the labels in the top row and in the left column. Click OK. Well nothing seems to have happened. How do we know that we actually have names? Let's go into our name box and over here we see all of the named cells. And if I want to quickly go to revenue there you go. Just clicking on the name in the box will take me directly to that cell or that range. Okay, now that we have names, let's make our formulas more explainable. Here's how we do it. Insert name, and this time we use apply. What we want to do is apply the names that we just created in our formulas. Click OK, and now when we look we have our names in our formulas. So understanding net profit, it's much easier to explain net profit that net profit equals gross profit minus overhead, or that gross profit is a calculation of revenue minus direct cost. Reason number one, names are more explainable. Reason number two, the more adaptable. Let me show you. Let's create some more names. We want to name the cells and the ranges here. And we're going to, again, start by selecting the area that includes the top row as well as the left column. Insert name create. And now we will create the names based off of our labels in the top row and the left column. Click OK, and there you go. Here's what I mean by adaptable. When we have a sum, for example, directly underneath the data that we want to calculate, that's terrific. But what if we're outside of that region? What if we wanted to create an average, let's say, for utilities? Well, here's how we can use a name. Let's start by equals average in our left parentheses. Now, instead of going up and highlighting the utilities, what we do is use the F3 shortcut to bring up the paste names dialog box. So we want to average utilities. We select it, click OK, right parentheses to finish the formula, control enter, and now we can see that we have an average of the utilities. If I wanted to copy that formula somewhere else or write that formula in another worksheet, let's say we want to average food equals average, left parentheses, F3 shortcut, paste names, and we find food, OK, right parentheses, control enter, now that formula is referring back to food which is in a separate worksheet. What a nightmare that would be trying to go back and forth and absolute references. So reason number two, more adaptable. Reason number three, updatable. What we want to do here is we need to find out what the sales tax on our pre-tax total will be. So we're going to name a constant for the sales tax. Now, unlike the previous names, which actually referred to a cell or to a range, what we're going to do with a constant is we're going to name a constant value. So I'm going to start right over here, doesn't matter what cell I'm in, and say insert name, and in this case, define. I'm going to define the name for sales tax. Because I started in a cell directly underneath the sales tax label, Excel is smart enough to say, do you want to name this sales tax? Yes, I do. 
Now instead of pointing to a cell or a range, I will write in my constant. Sales tax in this location is going to be eight and a quarter percent equals 0 0.0825. Click OK. And now when I want to use sales tax in my formula, I go equals point to the pre-tax total times F3 for my paste names dialog box, find sales tax, click OK, and click Control Enter. And there is my sales tax, and I can copy this down. Again, an updatable feature is the government now has changed the sales tax to 8.5%. If I go insert name, define, I can quickly revise the sales tax number. So sales tax, and what I want to do is change it down here instead of it being 8.25, 0 0.85. And now watch what happens in these cells when I click OK. The information is updated. OK, three great reasons to name cells, name ranges, and name constants and apply them in your formulas. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.